Hello to all my friends is watching Karkmo Gaming. Mamma mia, you guys, you number one. Woohoo! Woohoo! Mario! Let's play, huh? Let's go! What's up, my Karkamaniacs out there? This is Karkamo, the Forger of Pain! And welcome to Karkamo Gaming. And today we have a special guest. Do you know who this sir is? It's Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario. Yes, the same Mario from the Mario Brothers, from the big end Nintendo. Let me tell you, it's an honor to have you in Karkimo Gaming. You wanna say hi to the to everybody watching, wherever they are? And I told my friends at Karkimo Gaming, it's -a me, Mario. Woohoo! Mamma mia! You guys, you number one! Ha ha! Holy moly! Oh my god, that was freaking awesome! Okay, if you don't mind, I have a few questions for you. Sure. Okay, first of all. Uh, which one has been your favorite characters? Because uh, let me tell you something, guys. He's not only the voice of Mario and Nintendo characters. He has also also Bartonax from Skyrim, right? Drem your look. Greetings, Wundernik. I am Parthenax. Yeah, what brings you to the throat of the world? Can you tell us which one is your favorite? Don't tell me Mario! Oh, it's Mario. I love Mario. You know, the joy, the happiness, the fun. When you play Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey, and you watch people walking away with smiles on their face, it's just beautiful. It's so great. Okay, well, sec second place, second runner-up. Luigi number one, Luigi number one. Hello? Oh, what about Wario? Have a rotten day. Yako! Wario time! I can't lose! <laughs> I love boobies! Wow, wow, wow! Next question. If you have to choose one princess of, uh, of between Daisy, Peach, and Rosalina, which one would you like? Princess Peach, she make my heart go bada bing bada boom bada ba. She's so beautiful. Well, these, these ones are too easy for him. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, if, if let's say that Mario would wrestle Partinax, <laughs> who would you think would win and why? Mamma mia! Oh boy, that, I think they'd end up having a great time playing together. <laughs> oh, the next is not a now he's the good dragon, you know, like a you know, he's a good dragon. So eventually he'd pick up the controller, he'd start playing Mario Odyssey and go, oh, whoopee. <laughs> whoopee, it's me, Partanax. We know Mario, he's a dragon slayer. So, you know, maybe Mario, he wouldn't need the full roll out, but you know. <laughs> Okay, and one more. Um, if you had to pick a Nintendo console, which one is your favorite? Oh. Don't tell me the Nintendo Switch. That's it's cheating. Nintendo Switch is so awesome. You know, it's so amazing. The fact that you can take that console and play with your friends and play, go here and go there with it, not just be at home and play FIFA or Mario. Or, it's just unbelievable. It's really great. I think the thing is, too, the thing I love, well, one of the millions of things I love about Nintendo is it's always the fun. It's always the creation of the game that drives the creation of the technology. It's not, let's make the biggest technology we can do and then try to fill it in with the games. It's, oh, this is going to be really fun. Let's build something new so we can do this with it and then build something 
so we can do that with it. And it's like that joy and happiness and fun is, it's contagious. It's everywhere in this company. And I, I just, for me, what an honor to be a part of that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If you guys want a pro wrestler, I could, you know, work for Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about, okay, second runner up. Oh, my goodness. Of the best console? Well, you know, the the, uh, the 64, the Nintendo 64, that created the, the uh, another big part of the dream for me because that was the first time Mario put his voice inside the game. You know, is that... It's me, Mario. Thank you very much for playing my game. That was a, a, a magical dream session. And then to see that game, every time I see a game, I you know, it gives me goosebumps to see it like this game. But that was magical, that that uh, N Nintendo 64. And the NES, and the Super NES. And then when the Wii and came the GameCube. Out, oh my goodness, I love the GameCube. Remember, remember Mario Sunshine? Yeah, of course. That was like the greatest game ever. I kept going, wah! I fell off so many times. Every time the crane would turn towards me, I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, Mario uh, Sunshine. The Wii, the Wii that got us all off the couch. Of course. I love the Wii U, too. I mean, I, 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 I love them all. I'm just so great to be a part of it. We all love Nintendo. We, most of us gamers grew up with Nintendo, yeah. and obviously they saved uh, gaming. You remember the Crash of 83? But, well, that's another video for another day. How did you start playing Mario? How, how did this happen? You know, I was j sitting on the beach waiting for the phone to ring, and I got a call from a friend saying, you should go crash an audition. I said, there's no way I'll crash an audition. Go crash the audition. I can't do it. Where do I go? Go over there. I went over there. And I walked in the door and the guy said, okay, you're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn. Make up a voice. Make up a video game. You're going to be a real-time animated character. We don't know if it's going to work or not. So start talking. And when you run out of things to say, that's your audition. And I started talking and I never stopped. <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. So you, without any type of direction whatsoever, you invented the voice of Mario. Yeah, I had never seen uh, Nintendo before. I'd never heard of Mario before. But I had played Gremio in Taming of the Shrew in a theater piece before. And I didn't want to do, hey, get out of my face. I'm waking here. I want to do something nice and friendly. And, and the thing that popped in my mind is, ah, Gremio, nice Italian guy. And make it younger, mamma mia, let's have some fun together. And that's that's what came out. You didn't want to do like, hey, bada bing, bada boom. You didn't want to do the other stereotype. No, I wanted it to be fun and joyful. And it's just uh, such a lucky thing for me. I'm like, I'm like the dog sitting on the surfboard and you know riding the wave into shore just watching oh boy look at that oh boy it's just been so much fun i have everything to be grateful for in my life like i said i can't thank you enough thank you. it's been real it's been an honor thank you very much for playing my games you number one Woohoo! signing off from e3 2017 here at the nintendo booth with charles martinet remember like or die oh no <laughs>